Hi everyone, Dr. Ben here with Hannah. We're gonna show you guys how to go through some planks, how I like them to be performed done, and some common mistakes as well. So let's start from the beginning with the plank everybody usually knows, which is on your elbows. And you come up, so this is a good one, not very bad, and Hannah's obviously very good at this. Common mistakes people do is they let their belly drop too far down, so they kinda of tilt their hips forward, or they arch way too high up. This focuses the exercise not on what it should be focused on, which is core stability. It shifts to be just the paraspinals or just shoulder stability. You can relax for a moment here. <laughs> so, variations I like to do and little cues I like to do to make it so that you can focus on doing this exercise correctly without cheating, as it were. So, I prefer personally to do the plank up on my hands. Either way, you can do it on your elbows as well. Little way to stop cheating is a little yoga block here. If you don't have a yoga block, you can use something like a furniture slider that slides around as well. All we're looking for is more biofeedback to help us do this exercise correctly. And all you do is put that on the low back. What this does is prevent a person from dropping their hips too low. As you notice, ah, she's very good, or too high, the block can start to fall. But you can ask her and she'll tell you that she's very aware to not let this fall right now. Just another form of biofeedback. Now, to get more full core activation, if you listen to me talk in any of my other videos or in person, the core is diaphragm, pelvic floor, abdominal wall. So we also want to get some cross chains going. So to get that, we start to include imbalances or shifting. The trick is you just slowly lift a hand up off the ground. And then the other one. Really focus on if you're planting this arm, you gotta plant the opposite leg. It'll prevent you from shifting too far like she just did. She's getting a little tired here. Gotta reset the block. Good. And if you want, you can go ahead and relax. Really pay attention to your hand placement on this one. I always like to bring my hands a little bit more narrow. It makes it easier. But you can't let your hands shift too far up or too far down. You gotta keep them right underneath your shoulders. You want that nice and straight. If you'd like, Hannah, I'll show the next step here. Thank you very much. If you feel like that gets too easy or boring, planks always get boring. That's why I do so many different versions of these. You're here, you're planted, hands are underneath the shoulders, you put the block on your back. And as you transition, instead of going to your shoulder, you reach up, grab the block, switch to a side plank. The tricky part comes when you gotta come back to neutral, plant, switch. To the other side. It's a great exercise. Not only focuses on the core, this one also includes a lot of shoulder girdle stability. If you wanna know more about getting more shoulder girdle stability, we'll do that in another video with planks. Thank you.